Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Jordy here, back at it again with another video. Today's video is really exciting because I have a lot of questions about like building up your back and making your waist look a little bit smaller. So for me, that is something that I have focused on because I am a bikini athlete. So I want to make my waist look as small as po I possibly can. So I will take you guys through a full workout, break down my back workout, what I really focus on in order to build that back up and make that waist look smaller. But first we need to get a pre-workout meal in. And luckily I already made one. This, it doesn't look cute, but I swear it actually really tastes good. So um, right here we have 50 grams of cream of rice, 50 grams of banana, 30 grams of protein, and a scoop of peanut butter on top. So that is just a balanced meal that I'm going to have pre-workout in order to make sure that I'm fueling my system before I go into it. So as I'm eating my pre-workout meal, I just wanna make sure that I have my pre-workout already ready and my BCAs for my session. So I take these BCAs, so they're the BCAs, beyond BCAs and EAAs. So they are essential amino acids. So these already help kind of rebuild your system and get more blood flow to your body to already start recovering as you're working out. So I always sip on these intro workout. What's cool about these EAAs is, is that they have nootropics in them as well. So it actually helps you focus even more and it doesn't give you that crash after your workout. And then my pre-workout of the day is Pride. So this is the flavor Fantasy Soda. And this is by far my favorite favorite flavor of pre-workout I've tried in a very long time. It's very good, it's very sweet, and it doesn't have any of that like gross aftertaste along with the fact that the energy that you are taking through this pre-workout it lasts during your entire workout and it doesn't come to a crash zach perna actually designed this with ehp labs and it's actually really cool and scientifically based in order to keep that energy running throughout your workout and keep you pumped throughout it as well so i'm gonna make this and then we will head off to the gym where i will meet you there to walk you through everything Okay guys, we've made it to Phoenix Brighton and I'm all mic'd up here. So today's workout, it's gonna be really kind of like a breakdown workout. I am going to tell you exactly what I'm starting with, how many reps, sets, etc., that I'm going for. So the first exercise that we are going for is like a circular lat pull down. So there's a new machine here at Phoenix that is a circular lat pull down from Panada, which is amazing. It's actually my favorite back exercise machine. So we're going to do one warm up set and three working sets. So my warm up set will be 50 15 to 20 reps and then my working sets will be around 10 to 12 reps just really trying to max out as much as possible okay guys so first things first I'm just coming down and making sure that my chest is up my eyes are up and my lats are engaged so when I engage them I squeeze them down before I even go into the movement I make sure I keep my chest up because I don't want to fall forward whatsoever that's not really efficient for working your lats so you squeeze down before you even go into the movement and then you squeeze into your lats completely and then slowly release. I see so many people doing ego lifting when they're trying to do back where they're like starting to swing like this and it's not efficient. You want to make sure that you're just squeezing down as hard as you can and then coming right back up and making sure to retract your lats down. Okay, so first exercise is done. Next exercise, I wanna focus on a row. So I'm doing a single arm bent over row. The way I'm setting this up is just with an incline bench. And I actually like this variation more rather than having it like on like all fours to row. I feel it better into my lats and lower in order to build that thickness and that girth that you're looking for in order to build your upper back and make your waist look smaller. 
So I'm gonna walk you through kind of how I'm approaching the exercise right now. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna place my front palm. So I'm using my right palm to hoist myself on here. Then I'm gonna reach down and grab the dumbbell. Make sure that I'm in a like a standing position where I'm stable. Some people like to do two legs back, but I like to plant one forward and then one back. It just gives me a little bit more extension and I'm able to squeeze back even better. Then I'm going to let my lat go, squeeze all the way back and down in order to squeeze as hard as I can into my lat. So controlling it all the way down. So squeezing back, control. And I push ever so slightly off my front hand just to make sure that I'm keeping my upper body upright. But I'm not swinging here. I'm squeezing and controlling the weight. If you notice that you're literally like just going up and down, up and down with a dumbbell, you're doing it wrong. So making sure that you're squeezing all the way back, controlling all the way down. I like to aim for a two count on the way up and a four count on the way down. And that's kind of how I approach this exercise. exercise we are doing is another pull down but this time it is going to be a neutral grip pull down so this is just another alternative for you to do I like to hit my lats from multiple different ways in order to kind of increase growth and increase blood flow to the muscles there so I'm going to focus on really kind of keeping a neutral grip and squeezing down into my lats as much as possible not into my traps because I'm trying not to grow them whatsoever because I am actually quite trap dominant it does not take much for me to grow them whatsoever so I want to turn them off so that that doesn't grow. That is not like a category of bikini athletes. So the most trap growth is not gonna happen here. So I'll walk you through how I'm approaching this exercise. Okay, so I'm grabbing the bars while I'm short um, from a neutral grip perspective right here. My knees are latched in. I'm in an upright position right now. Again, with any lat pull down, I wanna make sure that I keep my lats in tight because I'm not trying to work into my shoulders or up into my ears, into my traps. I wanna make sure that I'm properly executing the exercise. So squeeze down into a retraction, squeeze your arms down and back, all the way back up to full extension. Once again, squeeze all the way down, all the way back up, keeping your chest and your head upwards. You don't wanna start caving down. You wanna pull with your entire body. You wanna make sure that you are taking things, again, slow and controlled. You'll notice through all my exercises, I really focus on tempo because that's what's most important in order to get muscle growth. So I will show you guys the exercise right now. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. We are on to our fourth exercise. Now, we are going back to like a row positioning, but I'm doing a seated row, but it's an upright row. So here, I'm really focusing on a wide grip. You can do these in a neutral grip or an underhand grip as well, but I like the wide because once again, we're trying to build that back up to make sure that we are looking like we're adding that extra muscle up top and giving the illusion of a smaller waist. So I'm gonna do a wide overhand row, squeezing back into my lats, once again, it's like all lat movements into your back and mid back as well. So I'll show you guys how I'm approaching the exercise as I'm going into it now. So first things first, probably gonna sit down because that's what we're doing. And then there is a really cool attachment here where we can just press it and it's gonna come to us. 
It's gonna allow us to just get up set, set up properly. I like to approach these from a single arm, just really focus on isolating it and making sure that we're going through the exercise easier. It's also a lot easier for me right now because I did get my chest done a little bit ago. So I wanna make sure that that is comfortable as well in this sense. So I'm gonna grab onto the overhand wide grip. I'm going to roll my shoulders back and down so that we're not working into our chops again and then I'm going to slowly squeeze it into my back. Once again, extend slowly. So here, I'm really just focusing again on keeping my upper body up straight, my shoulders back, squeezing into this row as much as I possibly can. And yeah, just progressively overloading through it. This is honestly one of my favorite row machines because it feels so good. Yeah, so this is how it goes. Next up, we have a straight arm pull down with a rope attachment. Now we're gonna be on the cables now. And I really love this movement because it feels really, really good once again on your lats and it really burns them out. So I normally either warm up with these to activate my lats or I end my workout with them just because I want to make sure that I burn out my lats as much as possible. So I'll probably do this and then some form of like a face pull or a rear delt fly in order to really squeeze and finish off my back. So I'm gonna go super light with this to begin with just because I wanna make sure that you can see my form first before I go into it. So first things first, I'm going to grab onto the rope at the end of it. I'm gonna squeeze my lats down and then I'm gonna take a few steps and the rope's already gonna have some leeway with it in order to be pulled. Then I'm going to kind of bend down a little bit more, squeeze my lats down and make sure as I'm squeezing down, I'm keeping the arms straight, but I'm squeezing the elbows right to my side and then extending right back up. And here, I'm not pulling through my traps, I'm not pulling through anything else, it's literally into my lats. I can feel it pulling straight down and all the way back up. Once again, trying to control this movement as much as I possibly can. That's one thing I really want you guys to learn through kind of muscle building and trying to build the physique that you want. You need to make sure that you're going slow and controlled through everything and, and doing the exercises properly in order to progressively overload throughout your sessions. Last exercise that we're going to do, it's another pull down, woohoo, um, but a different variation completely. So this is more of like an angled version and you're also going to be standing for this. So it's a little bit different than anything we've done and it's nothing that I've shown on my channel before as well. First things first with this exercise, you're gonna plant your foot at the edge of the seat. I have a close grip extension on this pull down. So I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna press off slightly and I'm gonna tilt my weight forward a little bit in order to extend through. My face is gonna pop out really cutely and then I'm gonna squeeze down and back into my lats as much as possible. And I truly feel this super deeply into my back. It's, it's such a great exercise, but you just gotta remember you can't let your traps creep up into your ears because then you'll be working your traps and not your back. But this is a great way to end a epic back workout and just really squeeze and get the last little bit out of your back. So let's do it. Just wanna love you, just wanna hold you. 
Hey guys, that is my back workout done. It actually felt really, really good. I have just started getting back into upper body training, as you guys may have known and following the channel, kind of my process through my breast augmentation and stuff like that. So it's actually really nice to be able to kind of focus on lifting heavier again and really that mind to muscle connection that comes with upper body. I used to actually hate training upper body. Like back was like a no go. I was like, no, thank you. Shoulders, I was like, no, thank you whatsoever. But I've gotten this love for it now. And I think it's because I've actually really taken it seriously and I've kind of approached it from different ways. So for me, back training is very, very important as a bikini athlete, as long with shoulder training as well, because it just helps develop your physique overall. And if you are a competitor or on a fitness journey whatsoever, do not avoid training things that you don't enjoy. I know a lot of you guys out there avoid leg training because you hate it but at the same time, you don't want to neglect your whole body as a whole. It is so important to just maintain balance throughout and your body will thank you after for doing it. So if you actually really enjoyed that kind of like back workout, let me know. I really love kind of going to my roots, which is personal training and, and teaching how exercises should be done. So that is like what I wanted to try to bring with this video by kind of doing like the talking bit by bit and really breaking down each movement for you guys so that you guys can understand too. Let me know if that was fun or just boring. I don't know. I tried to make it as fun as possible, but like teaching movements isn't always exciting. I hope you guys gained some value from this video. And if you guys enjoyed it, please let me know. I'm going to go back home and make a post-workout meal. So I thought I would close this video out here. This is my second video with Liam. So guys, say thank you to Liam for the great content that's coming through. Woo! But if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn post notifications on and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!